Hi, I'm k 2 Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to continue to work on the mounted cut that I bought before as opposed to painting on the rice paper that I always use. So let's get started. For this painting, we'll be only using two colors, the red orange ink and a small brush. The non cardinal is in red color but I'm gonna use some orange color first and then make some red to create a nice shade. This mounted card has very low water absorption level so when you paint you don't really need to take a lot of ink or water in your brush. One of the interesting features of this Northern Cardinal is the crest, which sticks up when it's agitated and drops when it's very relaxed. I'm also going to paint the beak first and leave some blank space for the face a little later. Because the entire bird is in red color, so I have to be careful when I paint the chest and leave some blank space to distinguish between the wings and then the tails as well as the chest. Because this mounted card is very different from the rice paper in terms of water absorption level, the way to paint it is also a little different. I have to work with the material. If you haven't watched my videos that I started to compare this card and rice paper yet, I will leave a link below so that you can check it out and I'm gonna paint the same subject on the rice paper in some future videos so um, please subscribe if you haven't done so and hit the bell notification button so that you don't miss out any updates Now I'm going to take some red color to paint the red berries that um, these birds love and that's how they get the color. If it's on the rice paper then these dots will be painted really fast because that the pigment will merge into the paper and spread out forming nice round dots. And on this card I have to paint like a round circle to create the thought, so I'm going to fast forward these sections. Now I'm taking some ink to go back and paint the black face mask. And I'm going to leave some space for the eyes. In Chinese painting, we don't tend to use white color to create outline, so I just leave some white space for the eye area and dot the eye on it. The feet are in darker ink. And I'm gonna add a tree branches that are bigger and vertical, like a tree like growing up. Um, this stroke is a slender strokes that I make use of the broad brush hat to paint. This will create a depth of view. It looks like a tree branch that is further away and on the background. And then I'm going to take some dark ink to paint these dotting moss, which is a technique for breaking the smoothness or creating the roughness of trees and rock textures. I really like this light color that I've mixed, so I'm going to paint a bit more smaller branches to enrich this composition. This card is an A4 size and mount it so after it is dried you can put it in a frame and put it on a wall so it is quite convenient now i'm gonna finish the touch up of some splasher with orange and red but this card doesn't seem to work really well with splasher the splashing dots doesn't emerge and spread out big enough so I'm gonna just 
paint on it to create some more dots for the berries and it looks like it's uh, in the snow. I'll show you a close-up soon so please bear with me. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.